Hey guys, welcome to another how to guide and this time it's how to deal with titans and I prepared five tips and I hope it helps. Let's get into it. On number one, prepare to engage more than once. Titans are very tanky. Titans have a lot of hit points even at low level. Now if you're treating them like another regular robot, then you could be in trouble. When you're attacking, when you think that you have advantage over them and engage onto them thinking that one engagement will definitely kill them, um, you might be in trouble. Now this robot here, Aojun, tend to be the best counter against Titans. Uh, even with that much firepower, one engagement isn't enough. So there isn't what we call death button build against Titans. So I think this, this tip is probably the most fundamental one, but I guess it's also the most important one. It's always best to um, fight near a cover. Point of that is so that you are safe um, during your robot's ability cooldown. Um, after that, you are able to engage once again. So in order to do this, you have to really understand your range of your weapons and how far you kind of have to go in order to reach the enemy. And while doing that, you have to have a cover nearby. It sounds complicated, but it's a very smart way to fight an enemy titans. So I would say that was pretty successful combat. Now let's move on to number two. Um, not a lot of people use this unless they're running lockdown weapons. Most people tend to use phase shift because how dominant phase shift is. However, lockdown module also come very handy in situations like this. Other than the Ao Ming, Kid and Arthur tend to be very beacon dominant titans. If you're alone defending a beacon against uh, Arthur or Kid, it's impossible to defend it on your own. So by locking them down, you buy time for your teammates to support you. This is very efficient considering that anti-control mo module isn't available for titans. On number three, make some beacon plays. Mobility is one of the weakness for the titans and for example Loki which is a very fast robot. On top of that having stealth. When enemies are in titan you can definitely make a lot of beacon plays. Although it's not shown in this footage many players have to sacrifice their titans in order to save beacons. If enemy players and titans let go of beacons it's most likely going to cost them a game. And my favorite robot to do this with is definitely the Loki. After all, there are only two ways to win the game. Uh, win by beacon gauge or win by elimination. In this case, uh, having stealth, I'm able to avoid incoming damage from titans and I can capture beacons in order to pressure them. Let's move on to number three. Protect and support ally titans. If they have titans, we have titans as well. Some players like to do it with tier. Some players like to do it with raker. In this case, I'm using the nightingale uh, to support this titan in front of me to face other titans and other robots. So the idea here is to heal ally titan yet suppress enemy robots and suppress enemy titans. Another great combination is using the nemesis and the arthur. While the arthur is getting attacked by fire weapons and splash damage weapons, you would use retribution shield on the nemesis to protect the arthur. And when you're in cooldown, you would kind of hide behind arthur's shield. There are various type of combinations like this. Um, so be creative and come up with your own. Um, I guess that's the fun part of it. And like I said in the beginning of the footage, I am suppressing enemy titans and healing ally titans. Uh, and this seems to be very effective against other titans. And after capturing this beacon, we are moving on to another one. And enemies are trying to defend against our combination using their titans as well. However, as you guys can see, it's pretty tough to take us down. And now the Ao Ming goes down. Let's move on to the last tip here. Attack together. This is the most basic one, but I will talk about it anyways because I think this is a team game after all. And 
being able to coordinate with uh, your teammates when you're playing solo is, is not an easy task. So one thing I would do in order to coordinate is um, instead of attacking on your own, um, watch your teammates attack Titan and then kind of help them out afterwards. When I play solo games, many times when I attack Titans, uh, I kind of felt like no one was helping me out. So instead of creating a situation where you need help, teamwork usually worked out best um, when my teammates initiated uh, attack on Titans and then I helped out. And I think if more players keep that in mind, um, I think the coordination would be better. So that was it for me today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next guide. And remember to check out my own channel as well.